हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सिद्धार्थ जोशी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फिजियोथेरेपी अहमदाबाद टुडेस टॉपिक इज एलोपेशिया इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर फाइनल ईयर पीटीएमएस सब्जेक्ट इट इज मोस्टली आस्क इन गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन फॉर एट मार्क्स एंड ऑल्सो इन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स विद द फिजियोथेरेपी मैनेजमेंट so let's start today's topic alopecia alopecia means in our terminology means in our layman's terminology you can call it baldness alopecia alopecia is defined as premature loss of hair sometimes leads to total loss of hair from the body it is not like only from scalp whole body patient can get hair loss causes or you can say etiology the condition is thought to be an autoimmune disorder means there is no perfect reason it can happen to anyone and it will like autoimmune with the help of immune system something is going on something is wrong and suddenly it happen and all hair loss to whole body so the condition is thought to be an autoimmune disorder in which the body attacks its own hair follicles and suppress or stop hair growth T cell lymphocytes cluster around these follicles causing inflammation and subsequent hair loss see inflammation is very necessary to uh, a perfect cause for hair loss an unknown environmental trigger such as emotional stress or pathogen is thought to combine with hereditary factors to cause this condition means it is not proven it is not proven but mostly in alopecia there are chances of emotional stress or pathogen or it may be hereditary cases of babies being born with congenital alopecia erythra however these are not cases of autoimmune disease because an infant is born without a fully developed immune system age mostly it will affect under the 30 years of age predisposing factor means what factor which will increase the chances of this condition so poor health hereditary plays an important role and the most important nowadays is anxiety and fatigue these are the main causes but not proven so they will put under the predisposing factor sex it affects both sexes equally pathological changes how it happened in the pathological changes we will see how it happened so our main key term is inflammation pathological changes hair becomes weak from root and comes out of the follicles atrophy of hair follicles occurs sub sebaceous glands become inactive or less active clinical features obviously insidious onset hair starts falling in the clumps white skin appears after the patches of hair falls means when you get hair loss at that particular area there are white skin patches skin appears classification alopecia areata loss of hair from the scalp in patches alopecia totalis scalp hair loss along with the eyebrows also and alopecia universalis means loss of hair all over the body so this is the classification in the three type alopecia areata alopecia totalis and alopecia universalis difference is alopecia areata means loss of hair from the scalp only but in when you see alopecia totalis there is a hair loss of the eyebrows also so there is no hair in the eyebrows and obviously alopecia universalis name itself suggests that loss of hair all over the body so in physiotherapy management what will be the what 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 will be the our treatment plan what is the exact perfect route so obviously we will go through the causes and what are the predisposing factor we are try to remove that predisposing factor so in that way we will get and we will decrease the chances of alopecia so first is aims first and most important to improve general health with the improve general health you are supposed to plan a proper food 
proper aerobic exercises proper walk proper jogging whatever exercises and whatever plan which will increase the person's general health we we, we should apply everything to improve nutrition to hair follicles we are supposed to plan something that it will improve the hair follicles also to improve general health uva treatment that is theraketin are given theraketin in theraketin tunnel we are supposed to give sub erythema of doses of e1 are given for only 5 to 8 minutes daily individual patches are treated by e2 first you should know how to identify e1 e2 in e3 so it is a, a different a totally different practical that how to identify e1 e1 means erythema e1 dose so first you are supposed to find out e1 three whole project is there and when the redness occurred that particular minute is even even once you find even you can go for e2 is equal to e1 into 2.5 e3 is equal to e1 into 5 and e4 is equal to e1 into 10 so that way you particularly divide the dose so to improve general health uva treatment that is theraketin tunnel are given sub erythema or doses of e1 are given for 5 to 8 minutes daily so ye that theraketin tunnel patient supposed to go inside uh, like example you can see uh, in the movies you can see mri so patient is in lying condition and patient go inside so in that way theraketin tunnel is situated individual patches are treated by e2 and e3 doses of uvr and chromier and twice a week for that treatment you are supposed to give chromier lamp and you are giving a twice a week treatment should be continued for 2 to 3 months and as the hair starts growing uvr must be stopped to that area once it stops immediately you are supposed to stop uvr treatment because uvr has already there so much amount of adverse effect so once we recover immediately we should stop the uvr treatment okay thank you